Hey, welcome to another video. In this episode, we'll be painting a new environment concept from scratch, starting with a very simple line work sketch and moving on to the final image. Along the way, I will give you some tips and ideas, so stay tuned till the end to see the final result. My name is Victor, I'm a concept artist and illustrator for games and film, and I really hope you guys will enjoy this video and find it helpful. All right, let's start. So for this one, I wanted to place a few characters in a winter environment. And at first, as in most of the cases, I'm putting down a few lines, very rough stuff, to sort of come up with a composition idea. I wanted to have a forest in winter time, but maybe not full on winter with everything covered in snow. Maybe some areas could have some vegetation without it, or we could indicate that some snow melted and so on. I'm placing one character on a horse and another one sort of walking by her side, maybe leading the horse somehow. Alright, the sketch is almost done, now let's figure out what kind of mood we can get here. And I guess the easiest way is to start placing some value and color for the background, the sky, and just use broad strokes for now and just see if anything works. A great help would be to check various references, you can find different lighting situations, different materials and environments, and this will definitely help you figure out, especially the colors, the lighting in your scene as well. I went with a little bit of purple in the background and I think I will go with a slightly warmer foreground, maybe have some green warm grass sticking out in some places. Now it's time to place some trees and at first it might seem difficult to figure out and manage them all at once, so I guess you know go on slowly, try to separate them nicely by you know distance. I change their values, make sure that you know everything is according to the mood that you're trying to achieve, like the sky color and so on. Try to opt for clarity at first, so no need for crazy details for now. Try to jump around the place, uh, make sure that everything is readable. Uh, I'm not gonna focus for too long on the tree trunks, I'm just gonna place some broad marks at first, and then I'm gonna move on to different areas. And I'm gonna come back to the trees again and kind of complete the picture once more. After placing the initial marks for the trees, I'm just gonna try and add some variation to some of the tree trunks so that they don't look so boring. And as always, don't forget there is a free link with some of my most used brushes in the description below. Also on my Patreon, I'm uploading the original PSD file with all the layers, more brushes, and most importantly, the full unedited videos with more commentary. The links are below. Alright, next step would be to add a little bit of information to the foreground, since we kind of left it unattended for now. And I'm gonna try and add different patterns, maybe some darker valued you know, branches that have fallen from the trees. Maybe try to include a pathway from the camera towards our character. And I guess I'm also gonna spend some time in figuring out what kind of you know pattern or what kind of patches of grass I wanna add in the foreground, maybe in the middle ground as well, to make things a bit more interesting. We'll spend now a little bit more time trying to figure out what kind of colors and values I want to assign to the characters. And for now I'm just not going to worry about form, just putting some flat color on top of them and making sure that integrate them later on in this environment. I made that alley earlier on and eventually I decided to remove it because it was a little bit too noisy so I kind of opted for a different solution, maybe kind of make the foreground a bit more calm. Especially for this type of environment, when you reach the point that you want to add a few more details, like the really small ones in the background, especially for the trees with lots of branches, you can definitely use custom brushes to save a little bit more time.
We'll spend now a little bit of time on the character's faces and whenever I want to place those really quick I'm opting for a really graphic look to it so you can literally see me just putting down some uh, darker marks on areas around the eye, the nose, maybe a little bit the mouth and trying to really quickly create an impression for this character's face and later on I will maybe define a few more planes but that's it. Most of the work done on the characters is really just defining the planes, but in a really graphic manner. So I think I will just spend a bit more time around the focal points and making sure that the faces are clear and like adding some details for the hands. And I'm just going to bounce around the whole image, making sure that everything is readable and kind of balance things out. I'm adding a bit more information for the horse, but I kind of liked it the way it looked before, like very simplified, kind of graphic, but I guess it's just a matter of personal preference. At this stage you might want to make sure that the image is consistent enough, meaning that you have to look at the focal point and the areas of rest and kind of balance things out so they don't look, so there is not a big disparity in terms of you know level of detail. Alright, so this is the final image. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it helpful. 
If you did, please consider liking and subscribing. It helps a lot. Also, drop any questions you have in the comment section. I'm trying to answer as many as I can. Thanks again for watching till the end and see you in the next one.